Hi, I'm Karina, co-founder of Rebound Hounds. All dogs jump. When your foster dog jumps, however, on guests, kids, and on your counters, it can become an issue. Here are some great ways to curb that behavior so your foster can become a well-mannered member of your home and his future forever home. Dogs greet each other nose to nose, and that's what they want to do with us. So they jump up. But letting your dog jump at will could result in knocking someone over like a kid or a frail adult. Or maybe the person your dog is greeting just isn't a dog person and they can be frightened. That's why it's a good idea to control these behaviors. First, keep this phrase in mind when trying to curb your dog's jumping. Four on the floor. That means that your dog is only getting attention, praise, or treats when all four paws are on the floor. Have a friend volunteer to be a guest to help with door training. You can start by having your dog in a sit, then have the visitor come in and greet them. If your dog jumps up, have the guest ignore them, then put your dog back in a sit. If your dog remains in a sit, you can have the visitor approach and give them a treat. Repeat this a few times so your dog learns to be calm when your guest arrives and not jump up. For some dogs, the simple act of holding something in their mouth can help nix the jumping. Along with treats, keep some balls or toys at your front door for when guests arrive. And when you come home, keep readings quiet and low key. If your dog jumps on you, ignore them. You can turn around and wait till they back off. When they're calm and have all four on the floor, greet them and give them a treat. If your dog jumps on you and you're seated, stand up. Don't talk to them or push them away as they'll see that as you engaging or playing. Get them back in a sit, praise them, and give them a treat. It's super important that everyone in the home is on board. Your dog won't learn not to jump if some people in the household think it's cute and lets them do it. So everyone, be consistent. And now, counter surfing. Dogs are super efficient when it comes to snatching anything off of a counter. And it's no wonder why. Dogs are born to find and scarf food and our counters are full of tasty smells. There might be crumbs or food left out or even dog treats. Not just that, but when a dog grabs a pizza and runs around with it, they get chased by their guardian and they get attention. Step one is to prevent their access. You can use a baby gate or you can put your dog in their crate when you cook. Step two, keep counters and sinks clear of any temptation. Wipe up after meals and put away all edibles that could even be remotely tempting to your dog. Step three is to do some training. Teaching the command leave it can really help. To teach leave it, leash up your dog and put them in a sit. Then toss a treat a few feet away. When he goes to get the treat, say leave it. If he continues to pull, circle him around and put him back in a sit. When he stops straining toward the treat, reward him with a different treat than the one on the floor. Repeat this until your dog no longer strains for the treat, but looks to you. This command works great for not only counter surfing, but also on walks when your dog goes for something unknown on the street. Jumping comes naturally to dogs, but it's definitely a habit that can be controlled. Practicing a few training techniques and being consistent will have you and your guests happier and your foster dog not only safer, but far more attractive to potential adopters. Thanks and happy fostering.